everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve your coming across an issue with the Google Meet camera has failed or it's not working properly. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys, on how to resolve it. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So the first thing I'd recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. And you want to type in settings, best match, or come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select privacy and security. And then on the right side, underneath app permissions, go down and select camera. You want to make sure camera access is toggled to the on position, as well as any applicable applications down here as well that may be relevant. But definitely want to make sure the master access for camera access is toggled to the on position. And then once that's done, hopefully the issue should resolve itself almost immediately. However, if you're still having an issue, something else we can try, again, specifically with Google Meet, you may want to go ahead and close out of here and open up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, best match, or come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select the file tab and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So now that that is done, we're going to double click on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Should be a Windows Media Foundation folder in here. So we have to scroll down a little bit. And double click on it. Should be a platform folder in here. Left click on that one time. And if you need to pause and take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top. Each backslash is a different sub key that we've gone under to get to this point. So now on the right panel, you want to right click in a blank area. Select new and then select the word 32 bit value. Name this value enable frame server mode, exactly as you see on my screen, case sensitive. So again, enable frame server mode, hit enter on your keyboard to save that. And now you want to double click on this value that you just created in here. Base should remain hexadecimal and value data, make sure that's set to zero. Main reason we even opened it was if this value was already in here, you'd want to delete any value data that wasn't the number or value of zero, I should say, if we're kind of speaking correctly here. So again, value data, you want to set it to zero and then make sure it's selected to OK. And then once that is done, you will need to close out of the registry editor and you want to proceed to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully this point or issue has been resolved. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.